Lacrosse All-Stars is pleased to present an all-access pass to the Cleveland State men's lacrosse program in its first year of existence. In episode two, we go behind the scenes with the coaches into the locker room to give the pre-game scouting report before the team takes on Michigan in its first ever home game. Same thing. Yeah, I'm going right now. Where? To get my knee drained. Who's still on it? Uh, doctor, the Cavs doctor. Let me see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, it's still you want me to flush it? <laughs> want a tissue? Good luck. Thank you. You're going to be crying your ass off. Can you tell us that you have Hey, you guys, over here. Oh! 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 You owe me one. I called Logan. Yo, Garrett, 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 Garrett. Face-offs. All right, the biggest thing in the face-off X, compete in the middle of the field. It doesn't matter if it's face-offs, riding, clip, compete for ground balls, right? Compete for ground balls. Coach talked to you earlier this week about the stats with the face-off guy, right? 75% of their face-offs are won by wing players, not the face-off guy. The ground ball is picked up by a wing player. That means they're up for grabs, fellas. So we got to flat out compete on faceoffs for ground balls, right? Dominate the loose balls in the middle of the field. Remember the calls here, regular twins, twins Arnold, right? And remember what we're doing here. Faceoff violation, right? If you have, I don't care if we're twins Arnold. If you have the pole, you cut, right? If Danny's at the X, he can pick the ball up. If Mark's at the X, Mark's coming off, right? Everybody understand that? We're clear there. All right, and then man down face, make sure that our long stick gets to our draw side or our defensive half. The one thing I will say is stay aggressive in the clear. That doesn't mean aggressive like run to the net. It means be aggressive. If there's one guy in front of you, you gotta be aggressive. If you're five yards from a guy, you're open. Have an aggressive mentality, right? Jungle, right, we're Fox. Make sure that we're communicating. One thing I've noticed, especially with Fox, is that we're sending too many guys off the field. And we're ending up riding with nine. And we're still sometimes effective with only nine. Well, let's make sure that we have the correct amount of people on the field to make it tough for them to clear. Right? Turnovers at the top of the box. I don't care how it is. I don't care if it's an off-the-pipe shot that ends up in their sticks. you got to get back in the hole. Don't worry about jungle. We'll get back in the hole, and we'll marry you off, or you're going to have to play defense. Right? Moving pick, top of the box, same thing. Ward, top of the box, same thing. Bottom line, guys, you hear a whistle when we have the ball, it's probably bad for us. To make sure we're getting into our, our, our substitution path. Transition, right, especially for this week, guys, winter time mentality, right, winter time mentality. We need to value the rock, right, value the rock. So we get the ball in transition, right, there's going to be opportunities where there's looks. Know your personnel. That's the one thing I'm going to say here. Know your personnel. Right? We all have different jobs. Some guys' jobs are to bury the ball. Let's get those guys the ball in transition, right? Otherwise, Let's just be smart and let's value the possession. <clears throat> guys, defensive rules. Yeah. Guys, defensive, we've, we've gone over it all on the field. We watched it on film. Okay. They might throw something completely different at us. Right? We prepared for the 1-4. We know the invert. Right? They go 2-3-1. They cut that near side attack and through. We should be ready for that. Okay. Nothing overly complicated, guys. Right? Very simple, Okay. but very good athletes. Right? They lean on their athletes to make plays. Okay, it's not a right crazy scheme. They have really good athletes. Right? They recruit athletes. Okay, so we need to do a great job, guys. Okay, we need to do a great job. I told you out there, my theme for this whole game, right, is be in position to make a play. Right? Be in position to make a play. Right? Who knows? Right? They could throw right 14 out there, guys. They have a whole slew of different midfielders. Right? First game of the year for them. Right, it's a young, inexperienced group, guys, so they could just be trying a whole bunch of different stuff. Okay, you never know. Right, you never know what they're going to throw at us. Right, it doesn't really matter. Right, like Coach said, guys, it's more about us right, than them. Right, we do a great job defensively. We communicate. You put yourself in a position to make a play. We're going to be okay. We're going to be okay. Are right, you guys read through this? If you have any questions, guys, you let me know. Right, you just got to bring it, fellas. Right, you got to bring it defensively. Right, they're coming downhill right at you. Right, they're coming downhill right at you. Right, thanks. There's one thing I'll add on from a defensive standpoint, guys. Defense is so much about attitude. 
right? So much about attitude. And fellas, it's lacrosse. It's not football or ba baseball where you can pitch shutouts. It's not hockey. You're not pitching a shutout. They're going to score goals. We're going to score goals, right? Attitude. The attitude needs to stay the same every single time. It's zero to zero. It's zero to zero. Have that mentality. Right? That's the most important thing apart from playing defense, right? Offensive rules, right? Just a quick little synapse of uh, Michigan's defense. Heavy hedge help. Right, heavy hedge help. They'll get to the point where they're hedging and they're completely in no man's land. They're no longer covering their man anymore. Right, so if you stand and watch, right, if you stand and watch while your guy's hedging, you're allowing one guy to play too. You can't do that. We've got to spark and engage and occupy the help defense. And if they're going to hedge help, we've got to draw them and keep the ball moving forward. Right? You can always seal your own man. You can always seal your own man. Keep that in mind. Right? One on one, very stick oriented. Right? We do dive down one-on-ones all the time. And guys, that's to teach you guys how to play disciplined defense, how to approach, right? How to play within the team framework of defense. Rule number one, control the tempo, right? And that goes back to our wintertime mentality and transition. Understand the moment, right? Understand the moment, time on the clock, amount of timeouts. Did they just have the ball for an extended possession, right? Did we just get up and down twice? Is it too frenetic? We need to control the tempo, right? And that's on one, that's on seven, that's on 26, that's on 22, that's on 33. Control the tempo. You guys are the quarterbacks out there on offense. Let's make sure that we're controlling the tempo, right? Be aware of end of quarters, right? End of quarters. Those are opportunities for us to own the last possession of a quarter, right? Shut the door on them having a potential shot opportunity and finish quarters with a great opportunity to lay up and potentially a goal. Those are daggers, fellas. Those are daggers. You finish a quarter or a half with the goal, it puts your momentum going into the next quarter sky high, right? So if we have those situations, we're about 40 seconds, 30 seconds, maybe 50 at most, we'll take the ball behind and we'll wait till 15. And you can you can toy with the guy, right? Get You know what I'm talking about. Toy with him a little bit. At 15, we go, right? You go earlier than that, you run the risk of potentially having to come back your other end. So understand that, guys, 15 seconds is our measurement tool. We go at 15, we attack the cage. Next up, right, be ready to battle. I think this is probably the most important of all the rules, right, other than communication. I don't care who they are. I don't care how touted they were as recruits, right? We can play harder than them. That's under our control. So let's go out there and set the tone from the beginning, from the very first whistle, right? And then ride, right? If you're ready to set the tone, then you're gonna be ready to ride. Right? That's us playing defense from the moment that we turn it over, from the moment that there's an issue where we give the ball back to them. Right? Let's get into position and make plays and be aggressive. Right? Last week, had a lot of great plays in the ride and a lot of plays that we just barely missed. Right? Let's capitalize on every opportunity we can. Right? And if we don't, let's get back in. Let's play a great set of, set of defense. Right? Next rule, communication on offense. Right? Everybody talks about communication on D. Right? A tough D is a D that talks. I got to tell you what. Good offense is communicate, right? And you can see all the different reasons why, right? It doesn't matter what they're doing. We need to make sure that we are on the same page. And it's going to be tough to hear out there. You guys know that. The dome is difficult. You've got to communicate. You've got to echo the call. Make sure that all six guys are organized, right? And I'll do my best to send every pair and every foreman out there with the offense so that you guys can instruct, inform the attack of what we're doing, right? Guys, this is my first time coaching the ride. I love it. I love it. It creates a ton of havoc. It creates chaos. Other teams don't like it. And you guys are buying into it. Right? <coughs> it's a weapon. It's part of what we do. It's part of our DNA. Don't get too high with the highs. Don't get too lows with the lows. Play with passion and energy at all times. Right? Encourage each other. Be great teammates. Be excited for one another. Right? Get hyped up. Have a lot of fun out there. All right? Have confidence in yourself and your teammates. Let's make history, boys. Hey, anybody gets this quote at the end of the scouting report? Raise your hand if you know it. You get to be captain for the day. Nobody knows it. We need Reese here, he would know it. <laughs> I think you guys put Burler got it.
Who does say like that? From Akron. Hey guys, so we have the helmet peak outs. Right, we're gonna sit here together. Right, here's the thing. You can ask Matt, if you don't like the way they adhere to the helmet, ask Steven for his blow dryer. Right? And you just, you just you get it done, right? Right? Tommy, okay, all right. But hey, guys, you've seen them done, right? We have the, the Viking on the back, we've got the stripe, we've got the Vikings across on the left, you got your number on the right, right? I also owe Jack and Drake these, right? Skylar, I gave you one, right? All right? Um, before we actually break this down, while we're doing this, Skylar, why don't you get your quote? Uh, and he was known for the pyramid of success, and on top of that pyramid was uh, that's a block called competitive greatness, and the quote is, uh, perform at your best when your best is required. Your best is required each day. He's basically saying, don't like, don't play good for uh, one quarter or two quarters, play good for everything. Um, play your best each day, every day. Awesome. Jacko? I'm uh, Thomas Jefferson. So I find that the harder I work, the more luck I seem to have. Um, it pretty much goes for itself, so the harder you work, you feel lucky. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right, fellas, let's get these stickers on. If you need anything or have any questions, let me know. Uh, Line the Vikings up to align with that curve. Yeah, text me in line. Text me in line. See how that curves right there? That's pretty good. There we go. Oh no. I was going to cover up my feet. Does that look right now? I'm not doing your bed. Let me see. You got to your bed. Yeah. Wait, where are these? No, you got to go all the way down. No, you got to go all the way down. Why is mine so far off? I don't know. How would you give him the wrong number? I think that's worse than nobody. Number one, I'll take it. That guy. Hurry, hurry, man. I'll do it. 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 Hurry, you don't want to watch the video? Is he trying? I'm going to faint. That hurt. <laughs> Dude, you, you leaning. <laughs> so I had two full gallons of those like in my knee. That they drained here. Well, not like that. It was like 90 all together. They made it seem random. Yeah. Like, does it feel better? No, he's, he, he, he took out like 90 whatever, like the numbers. We hope it turns around. Yeah, yeah. Is that? That what? It's good. Yeah, no, it went. It went. It went. Feel better though? Yeah, it does. It looked like uh. uh you can see it kind of deflated too. Yeah, no, it, it looks like my knee looks like a beat now. On the next episode of Vikes getting up close look at the Cleveland State campus and more.